Hey boys, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon, and today we're doing a setup plan review for the game Zex Nimt or Six Nimt Junior by Amigo or Amigo Spiel. So this is for ages five plus. It is also for a different age range in terms of being compared to base game, but also the amount of players. Compared to this being an eight plus for the original Zex Nimt or Six Nimt from 1994, also by Wolfgang Kramer. This game takes only 20 minutes compared to 45, and it's two to five, not two to ten players. In terms of everything else, it's fairly similar though. Obviously it's not as expert and it's a bit more luck based as I'll show you in a second. So what's in the box? Well, we have various cards and of course I will give you that review at the end. You have various setup cards, you're gonna place these out initially. These are basically you taking photographs of ultimately animals that are can be present. And those animals are always cows. If you've seen my other videos with Six Nymphs, you'll know all about that. Now, there are six types of cows and uh, I'll show you what happens and what triggers what gives you points, etc. The person with the most points wins, and to get points, points equal to cards. Now, aside from this, if you would like to see up my other videos, such as for Six Nymphs, or for Eleven Nymphs, or for the board game, amongst other Six Nymphs games, then of course check that out on the channel. Aside from that, if you want to see other stuff, also by Amigo, which is where all of the games you can get for Six Nymphs is from, then you can find that if you wish to go across through to the playlist for Amigo. So what you're going to do, you're going to have these deck of cards, and they have different animals on them. There's six different types of cow, six different areas in the world where you can find them. Africa, for example, Scotland, obviously all over the place. You've got German cows, Japanese cows, etc. By the way, cows in Japan, I tell you a little fun fact if you find it fun. Actually, cows in Japan were imported from um, Argentina or from Germany. So people say, oh no, it's official, you know, it's traditional Japanese wavy beef or whatever. Actually, that's not necessarily the case. So you're going to do this, shuffle them up. And then what you're gonna do is you are gonna place out a card. So you're gonna turn this card over, and if you're the first player, the first player is the person who last photographed a cow, and you can place it to any row you like. Next person is gonna draw a cow. Oh, let's put it in a different row. And let's place it over here, and let's just place another different row again, and you keep on going. I'm gonna leave this in shot for the time being, like that. So we have a different cow, and once there's six different cows in a row, then you're gonna take those cards. So we have some doubles like this, so you could place it here. You can't place it here because we already have a red cow here. So we can place it down the bottom, but it's slightly out of shot for now. And I could zoom out, I'll place that there. We've got this one down here. So again, we could place it here. We could place it over here. And we can't because there's a cow there, which is purple. African cows for time being, let's just leave this bottom row empty for time being because we, you don't have to place it there. Now we've got one, two, we've got five different cows. So this is the Scottish cow, it is. You could place it here, obviously, because there's a Japanese cow, you go, ugh, well, I could place it somewhere else. But um, because there's this cow here, you've got to place it somewhere else. So let's now, this has also got five on it too. You don't want to do that, because if someone draws the next cow, which will be the African cow, then what's going to happen is they're going to score points. So for now, let's move it here, and then let's reveal the next one. And it happens to be this cow here, this drumming cow. And let's place this. Well, now let's gonna zoom out a bit and we're gonna chuck it down the bottom. So the reason why that's important is uh, if you wanna chuck it down the bottom, actually I can't seem to zoom out whilst in shot for some weird reason. Let's try it one more time. And it doesn't seem to like it. Okay, I'm on a different camera today. So now I'm gonna chuck it down the bottom, but you can just about see it in shot. We also got this Japanese cow, so place it there. Uh, oh, actually no, the person who had this cow would place it here because now there are six different cows. One, two, three, four, five, six, all six. So what happens is you're gonna take all of these cards and now that clears that row and you score these as points. Into the game, you're scoring yourself six points. Now you can score more than six and I'll show you how in a second. So, or even fewer than that sometimes. So we have a Japanese cow. We've then got something, all three of it on. So you might stick it there for four. Of course, if you happen to get that card like this, then of course you would be scoring three cards because that would go here. All six cows, you're scoring yourself three points. So three points isn't as good, so you might want to place it there. I've got a blue, so maybe I'll chuck it down the bottom uh, to obviously prevent people from doing it. There's a, obviously a purple cow. We don't have enough. So when you are placing cards, you aren't wanting to just place any old place that you can place it. So this has to go here or here. Now there's four different cow species there. And we've got this one. Okay, so you've got red. So then you place it can go as here. One, two, three, four, five. So if someone draws the purple cow, oh, they do, look at that. So they can do this, and now they score themselves five points. So there's six different types of cow, and of course they've got five points there now. So now they are only one point behind the person who's got six. And that is how the game goes on until you run through the deck. And as you can see, we're quite way through the deck already. So what do I think of the game? Well, 
I came, I got a zero points the last time I played this. And the winner got 21 points, somebody else had I think 15, so that was about six odd or something like this. So uh, yes, there is, it isn't just point a card and put it down as someone put it, it's not, they thought it was a bit like snap. I said, no, it's not like snap because you're thinking, well, do I push my luck? You know, if you're playing, say, as a four, if I place a card here and there's only one more card to go, do I want to watch out for that? Uh, in terms of that card that are off, that purple and the uh, blue one, obviously there's sometimes you could get purple, blue, and a, uh, obviously in this case a white, a Japanese card. Or, I'd say card, but like, like cow. Uh, but you might find that, you know, as you can see from this distribution, that specific card isn't there, but there are all these multiple, obviously, twos and threes, which you could find. So, what I think in the game? Well, yeah, there is some decisions, because generally speaking, you want to play a card that ensures nobody else is going to have a better chance. I'm getting six, if you put a fifth um, different cow down, then obviously you're giving them a chance, slightly more than a one in six chance of them getting it, because these doubles. So that's why you have to watch out for it. Aside from that, though, it's a bit too... Uh, basic but it is a junior game some people didn't want to play this because it was a junior game and they didn't but um you know if if you want to play a game and you want to play six name like it is different to the original which is supposedly an eight plus game which is i completely understand so both of these are eight plus and uh, and of course the board game version as well aside from other videos please check out my how to set up play and review playlist check out my uh, obviously my mass games playlist amongst many others. I've already talked to you about the Amigo one I might do a Wolfgang Kramer one and also one specifically for Zex Nimt. Aside from that if you go through the link tree you can support the channel by Patreon You can also go ahead and see over 2,500 posts over on Instagram and also Again, there are occasionally competitions keep checking back and lastly, please yeah like and subscribe Hit the notification bell and there'll be more videos coming soon. There have been daily videos for the past three years at time of recording. Thanks for watching. Back to the table